What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Man Guide. Let's get straight into it. So I'm getting my back blown out in a bedroom at this random party, and someone tries coming in. Thankfully, it was locked, so we just kept going quietly, but it was annoying because I just wanted to get my nut in. So I tried to speed up the pace because homeboy was not doing the job. Then I hear the doorknob clicking again, and this time it swings right open. And it happens to be the dude's friends that I'm smashing, and they start laughing. And they start laughing, apologizing, are about to walk out. But I told them, hold on, are y'all not going to hop in? Because this dude wasn't working, so why not get his besties? So now I'm getting railed in all three of my holes, and honestly, it was the highlight of my year. Just remember, your man's besties always got your back. Those guys came in like... I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> Bro, chat, put Boplor in the chat, man. She's a runner, she's a track star. I've never seen somebody brag that hard. She's getting filled up like a Twinkies factory. Shots fired! Shots fired! Yeah, that is wild to me, bro. Goodness. Am I okay? I am this morning. I had to get a large dose of meds last night at the emergency room because I got my back literally blown out is the most disgusting thing right now the over sexualization of our culture wow. i did the whatever podcast it broke my heart to sit across from a 22 year old who sleeps with 10 men a night mm. i am 22 years old and i'm a full-time sex worker i do content creating like on only as well as stripping and her answer is well i make money our culture is demonic feminism is the number one women. attack on family what are they telling women men ain't shit you shouldn't be having children women are being told that they should be like men by the way we're getting the worst end of the deal i don't know who sat down and had the feminist meeting in the beginning and was like hey so here's how we're really going to make men lose first we're just going to keep sleeping with them with no commitment and then we're going to be naked <laughs> on the me. internet yeah. all the time and then we're going to say we're going to work just yeah. like you and we're going to bring in the same I don't know. This yeah. is the worst deal ever. And on top of that, men get to compete in your sport. This is why... Bro, I remember back in the day, back in my day, you couldn't even see a girl naked unless she was really with her like that. Nowadays, hell, you can see a girl's butthole for $4.99 on OnlyFans. For only 10 cents a day, you can see an OnlyFans girl's butthole. <laughs> I remember back in my day, you really had to get to know a girl where you could take your clothes off. Nowadays, hell, I don't even need to know you. I can just see your butthole. It's crazy to think, bro. It's absolutely crazy to think. What the hell? Wait, what is this one? Is that this 304 is proud of being a semen dumpster. What, what the hell? I want to do them. Okay. Snap it. trying to get on bad mom talk like i don't know any of these dances because i'm always making you sandwiches that's why i say women grow old they never grow up shots fired shots fired Someone's acting like a child got a kid in the back i'm never gonna get there i might be broke as hell tomorrow but that's all right because i'm that beast today well, are, is that a wedding dress Men are trash. Men are trash. Yes. Describe your ideal man. Less than one percent. Describe of it. Guy. Describe it. All has money more than I would make. Minimum amount of money that you would want your man to make a year or net worth. Over a million a year. Out I don't want to date someone that makes more, less money than I do. I would a guy who makes a million dollars a year. And I mean this sincerely. Why would he want to marry? You? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like, what, what are you even talking about? Like, he, of course he would want me. Like, what do you even mean? That's a stupid question. Like, come on. Like, I'm not. Like, what would he be getting? It seems like it would probably be a pretty bad... I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan & Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. 
deal for him. Um, what do you bring to the table, honey? Because you can't be the table. Stupid. So what do you bring I to the table? I to run away. If your man woke you up at 2 a.m., he said, baby, can you cook me a meal? Would you cook your man a meal if he woke you up at 2 a.m.? No. Just to be honest. <laughs> wow. What about you, Kiki? It all depends on how I'm feeling. All right, it depends. Oh, you well, another depends. It depends on the situation. Here's another Ooh, question. I thought that was a man. I'm going to keep it buck. If an intruder broke inside the house, would you or would you not expect your man to go downstairs and handle that break at the door? Natasha. Absolutely. Allie. Yes. Kiki. All I'm saying is if you don't. Big oh bag. Uh, yeah, I would expect that. What I've heard was that a woman's wifey duty <laughs> is based off her feelings, right? It depends on how I feel. Mm -hmm. But the man's duty of protecting you, it's mandatory. How is it a fair deal? These are so different. Like, yeah. what is the You're right. They are so different. Making a sandwich is so much easier than defending the house that um, you live in. It's, it's a, it, it, they, they aren't the same. And the fact that you get to say no to making a sandwich, but I don't get to say no to when an intruder comes in and I have to go spring into action says a lot about um, what you guys really want and who the true romantics are. Let me know in the chat. Chat, let me know. Who are the true rom romantics, men or women? I think it's men all day. Men will date down. Men will date women that don't make as much as them. We will go out of our way for these women. But these women, I bet they give you, if you're down and out, maybe maybe two months at, mo at, at best, and then they're leaving you high and dry. It's like you're both about to die, maybe. Right, and if you don't know, you're going to die. Might not I'm going to so keep it a buck. Those chest tats, like the music notes, run. It's not about the situation. It's about what the man is attracted to and it's about what the woman is attracted to. The man is attracted to femininity, submissiveness. The woman is attracted to masculinity, protecting and providing. So if you're not giving Facts. what we are naturally attracted to, it's not a fair deal if we have to always give you what you're naturally attracted to. Mm -hmm. a that's going to protect you. Make sense? Modern women want... No Fugazi, man. Great podcast. Absolutely love his content. So good. You know what else is crazy? I texted my boyfriend last week to see if he ever likes to rip up. Just exposes them that they only marry for the benefits and to divorce Rob. Call me crazy if you want, but I've never liked to rip up. That's crazy. You know what else is crazy? I texted my boyfriend last week to see if he wanted any snacks when I got off of work because we would regularly do that for each other the days that we work late. Um, instead of responding with what tasty treats he wanted from the grocery store, he said that he really needed to tell me something and that he needed space and that he had gotten his own living spot. So I responded with, wait, what? Because we've lived together for three years. We have two dogs together. Uh, we're both on the lease of the house that we live in. There was no signs of him wanting to get his own apartment. We were cuddling earlier that day. We've been kissing, saying I love you, all the normal stuff. Um, so you respond and say, wait, what? Uh, can we talk about this? What's going on? They don't respond. So you text them again frankly. And you say, are you going to be home when I get there? And they say, no, I will not be home. And then all of your text messages start going green and all of your calls start going to voicemail. Um, so you think you've been blocked. Honey, you got blocked. <laughs> <laughs> you got blocked. So you get into your house. You find their house keys on the kitchen table. You go into their office slash closet room thing. And all of their stuff is gone except for a couple ties in the closet. Some papers nailed to the wall some trophies, and a pile of hangers on the floor. And eight hours ago, nothing was packed, everything was fine. So you... This man moved out expeditiously. Freak out, trying to get a hold of this person, thinking that they're dead. You try to contact their dad. Um, over a span of three days, you have not heard anything from this person since they last texted you, no, I will not be home. Um, and... Well, it seems like now you are a... Single mom. Now you're a single mom, single mom. Now you're a single mom. You finally hear from them after three days, and they say that they still love you and that they want to talk, just not this weekend. And since then, the only communication you've had over the last couple of days is intermittent text messages in between them blocking and unblocking you. I hate to be mean, but it looks like she hit the wall. Yeah, I'm like, like something happened. I mean, maybe she gave herself up. I don't know. Big bag. Big Maybe something happened with the weight. Maybe something happened with the way you looked. Let's see what some of these. Um, let's see what some of these comments say. There were signs you were just blind. <laughs> <laughs> My husband did his usual kiss goodbye and told me he loved me, and I never saw him again. Only spoke via text for weeks before he asked for a divorce. Absolutely brutal. Don't take them back, or you might as well marry store-bought pesto. Huh? 
Uh, put him on block, leave him on block, change the locks, and don't look back. You deserve better, queen. Yes. Yes, queen. Go, girl. Sir. You deserve so much better. Really? Does she? Now that she's older, maybe has kids, she deserves things? I don't think anybody deserves anything. I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't think you deserve anything. I think everything in life is earned. I've been married for eight years. It says, women cheat, or a woman cheated on her husband with brother without her knowing. Wow. I have three kids with my husband. My husband is now overseas. He's been over there for about two years. When he do come home, he probably come home three times out of the year. He stay home for two, maybe two to three weeks at a time. All right, cool. I've been lonely. I've been lonely. I've been lonely. So I end up cheating on my husband. Yes, I cheated on him. He don't know that I cheated on him after this video. He gonna know and I'm a stupid, stupid. Wow. And some deep ass shit, but it gets worse than that. It gets worse than the cheating. All right. So I end up going to the bar one night and end up having a one night. I love it when a woman tells me her bop lore. Ain't nothing better than hearing about a woman's bop lore. She's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> and with this guy, and it was amazing. So that one night stand turned into a almost an every night stand. Um, but it was just like a sexual relationship. I didn't even really like care to even really get to know the man. It was just I, I'm, you I'm were married. just getting your back blown out. We get it, honey. So it was just whatever, you know, my husband couldn't do for me at the time. I was wow, he's, he's probably there for her financially, the house she lives in, he probably pays for the car, the groceries, the food, everything he pays for. And yet this is how he gets treated. Good Lord. With this guy, this young fella, and he fine too. But yeah, I'm messing with this fella. All right, cool. So um, she's bragging now. We've been messing around for maybe two years now or whatever. And I'm just now, we used to, when we, when we met up, we just get a room. But now it's like, okay, I can He slides through to the crib. <laughs> this is awful, bro. You can't come to my house because my kids is at the house. But now I'm going to his house. All right, cool. So long story short, today I found out a bitch is pregnant. I am pregnant. My... She's a runner. She's a track star. Wow. She got pregnant by the side. Oh, my Lord. She about to really be a single mom. My husband is overseas. So there's no way it could be my husband, baby. What do they call those? Um, Jody's. Jody's, right? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that from my uh, from Cass's brother. He calls them Jody's. The guys that are basically bucking your girl while you're out on deployment. Jody's. Let me know in the chat. Uh, chat, is that the right term? It got to be this man, baby. I haven't even told him yet. All right. So God. yesterday I go to his house and I see this wall and it got the pictures, like the picture collage and stuff. And I'm just now paying attention to it. So I'm looking at the pictures and I'm just like, oh, okay. You know, he doesn't have any kids. But I'm just looking at the pictures. He's about and to. Just looking. And then I see a picture of my husband on the motherfucking wall. So I'm just like, whoa. The whole time I'm over there, I'm just sitting there like trying to think like, how am I going to ask him? How do you know that guy that's on your wall? So I'm that's just, his brother. I, I done bit off all my nails. You guys like I got one more thumb left. I got the thumb left because I'm over there nervous. I'm just biting my nails, biting my nails. Just trying to figure out. Chat, let me know in the comments. For me, it's highly unattractive when a woman bites her nails. I used to bite my nails. I quit. I finally was able to quit. Like, I, I trim mine now and, you know, file them down. But, like, that is one of the most unattractive things when a chick bites her nails. Let me know what you think in the chat. Oh, how am I going to ask him how do you know this particular man in this goddamn picture? And I'm like, if you know him, then you know he got a wife. Mm. So I'm like... Was this a setup? Like, cause I, I I just don't know. So I just fucking like after probably after I ate off all my fingernails and we don't watch movie everything. Like I I didn't I finally asked. So I go back over to the wall. So now I'm just like, all right, cool. You just gotta start asking questions. Like, well, who is this lady? Who is this person? Who is this? So I'm like, who this? He like, that's my mama. Who this your daddy? All right, cool. Now this nigga right here. I ain't saying like that, but you get down to the nigga right here. How do you know him? Who's that? He said, that's my brother. 
Stop the cow. <laughs> She's trying to make us believe that she didn't know who her husband. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if I believe her, bro. I don't know. I'm sorry, but if you're married to a man, you have his kids, more than likely you've been to a family reunion. You've done something or another where you would, would have to interface with a man. How do you not know your own brother-in-law? See, that's what I'm saying. How do you not know your brother-in-law? True. It would, it would make more sense if they were lost siblings, but... Uh, they were talking and he had a recent pick of his brother. She probably lied. She's lying through her teeth. Well, you th here's the thing, bro. She was lying about the affair, but you think she's telling the truth about seeing this, uh, you know, seeing this picture? Like, come on, bro. No, she met his mama. She says that in another video, the brother's a half brother on the farther side. She met his mama. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. You know, when he finds out, not only will it destroy his marriage, he'll be discharged from the military. That's, um, adultery is considered a violation of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, UCMJ and can be subject to disciplinary action. The consequences may range from administrative penalties, such as formal reprimand to, uh, to more severe actions, including uh, demotion or discharge from the military. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. I hope that doesn't happen to him. If that happens to him, that's totally not fair. He, he didn't really do anything. I even get it now because her ex played herself. Being a single mom is so damn. Single mom, now you're a single mom. <laughs> You are the provider, the disciplinary, the comforter, the teacher, the best friend. You are literally everything all in one. And some days you just feel like you are completely failing at it. Let alone trying to take care of your own self and your own mental health. And it's like days like today where I get called in to go to assembly. Where's a man going to step up and be this woman's hero? I can be your hero. I had to add that. Somebody said I needed to add that one, so I added that for y'all. Because my son is getting an award because Aww. he is such a good role model and a really kind person. Oh, but that's so beautiful. And it's just like, I did you that. did that. Yeah. You are raising. I love how she can take, this is why I say women grow old, they never grow up. She can take her son's accomplishment and turn it around and make it her own. She's so like, you are doing so well. Little Timmy's doing well. Well, it's all because of me. It's all mommy. Yay, mommy. <laughs> Don't let your son have that accomplishment. Don't be selfless. Be selfish. Let's go back. Let's just go back so you can hear it again. A really kind person. And it's just like, you did that. You are raising a kind, happy, healthy boy. And it's just like, I need to remember in moments like this, days are hard, sleep is rare. But you're doing a fucking good job. <laughs> get off your phone. Uh, if, if, if sleep is, is hard, get off your phone and take a nap, stupid. Shots fired! Shots Sleep fired! is rare. Ding, ding. I've got a secret for her and every other strong and independent feminist. Raising kids is a two-person job. Yeah, 100%. Well, you know, you know how you equate a woman's value as a wife? The man that she can keep. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Loki, does somebody want to carry it? Free. Wait. Free. Go to your place. That's a fat one today. Um, but yes, so a woman, a woman's value as a wife is equated to the man that she can keep as a husband. Vice versa for a man. Uh, uh, the value of a man as a husband is the woman that he can keep as a wife. All right, let's jump into the Discord and see how things are going here. Um, let's see here. MJ threw some other things. Shout out to you, MJ. Um, this one is a short. I think I've seen this one, but we'll play it. Play it for the boys. 18-year-old reveals her po her body count in front of her dad. Oh, God. Your body count over 30? No comment. I'm a man of God. Madison? No comment. Body count over 30? No comment. I'm a man of God. Madison? No comment. She's Wait, not, say it. She's on, not Madison. over. Madison, no, you've already uh, revealed it. You revealed it. I don't really know. Do I want to get into this right now? Just for a second. No, I, I, Go. Need, I need to what hear my daughter yeah. speak. Now we're having a come to, come to Jesus. Uh, uh, what? What is it? Eight. Eight? She's a runner. She's a track star. Are you disappointed in your daughter? <laughs> There's like a whole backstory I can get into. Oh, there's a backblown story. <laughs> Not just a backstory. <laughs> Poor 
guy. He's like eight. He's like, God, I really, I really dropped the ball on that, man. That sucks, dude. Since I've been. All right. There's another clip. I feel so heartbroken for this girl's father. Yeah, man. Okay. Um, this clip is some women are absolutely disgusting. Like, why would you send that to be read over radio? Okay. Well, what is it that they're reading over radio? Let's get into this. Since I've been. Oh, no. Since I've been uh... a teenager. Oh. I've Stop. always enjoyed eating my ovulation discharge. <laughs> we the frothy discharge? <laughs> that little that little sweet cream cold foam off the top? <laughs> mm, I'm eating baby's sweet cream cold foam. <laughs> oh no, that no. like stringy Stop. Stop. white clammy discharge. Egg white. The egg white discharge, that ovulation discharge. Every month, I eagerly wait for when I ovulate to pull out my stringy, oh. thick, snotty ovulation discharge and I eat it. <clears throat> I don't know how or why this started, but I'm 33 and I still do it. That is the weirdest, weirdest thing. Like, my what? day was going really I well. Actually, <laughs> I am speechless, actually. That's disgusting. Oh, my mouth's watering. Bro, can you imagine if a guy admitted something like that? Like a guy that was uncircumcised or something like that. He's like, I admit to eating my schmegma every single month. Every month. <laughs> I go down there and, and reach out the crust and eat my schmegma. Like, can you freaking imagine? Um, all right, the bus put this video in here. So let's pull this video up real quick. Like and react. This one is called, um, wait, have we, have we already reacted to this? I think so. Leftover women losing their minds. I might not have reacted to the whole thing though. Yeah, no, we've, re we've already reacted to this. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, shout out to you guys. We have finally reached 80K. 80,000 subscribers, dude. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys haven't copied the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality, please do. Um, it's selling like hotcakes. I think we've sold around 60 copies, so shout out to you guys. If you haven't joined the Discord, please join the Discord and then jump into the suggestions chat. This is where we actually, uh, I get all these suggestions from you guys. Like, you guys put things in here, and then I'll come in here and react to them. Um, you guys have been very lively in the chat. I really do appreciate that as well. Um, but yeah, man, having a great time. We'll have a live stream a little bit later today. So tune in for that. Maybe, you know, around 5 or maybe maybe 6 p.m. Central Standard. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? I guess he always has a good time. Um, but no, nah, man, for real, I, I really do appreciate you guys. The love is absolutely real. But I hope you guys had a good time today. And I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.